Brad Pitt, 55, jokes he shines up well on the outside but inside it's a bit dicey as he gives update on his state of being after 2016 split from Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt joked about inner turmoil this week. The 55-year-old actor was on the Today Show with his Once Upon a Time in Hollywood co-stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Mario Ravi, plus their director Quentin Tarantino. In my next life, who should I come back as? Host Harry Smith asked, offering the choice between Brad and Leonardo. Pitt, who split from Angelina Jolie in 2016, piped up, I don't know about him. I shine up well on the outside, but it's a bit icy my friend. He then added a dashing smile and a wink. Leonardo and Brad, whose interview will air in full on the Today Show on Monday, also chatted briefly about the fact that they were both on growing pains early on in their careers, though they shared no scenes. Brad could not even remember precisely when he was on, though IMDb reveals he guest starred on two episodes first in 1987 and then in 1989. Meanwhile, Leonardo, whose role lasted a grand total of 23 episodes in season 7, correctly told Harry that he was on growing pains in in 91-92. Brad has had a turbulent recent few years during which his wife Jolie left him and he gave up drinking. During an emotional 2017 GQ interview in the midst of his divorce proceedings he shared his thoughts on playing anguished roles. I think it was more pain tourism. It was still an avoidance in some way. I've never heard anyone laugh bigger than an African mother who's lost nine family members. He mused, what is that? I just got R&B for the first time. R&B comes from great pain, but it's a celebration. Brad said, to me. It's embracing what's left. It's that African woman being able to laugh much more boisterously than I've ever been able to. Substance use wise he said he stopped everything except boozing when I started my family. But even this last year, you know, things I wasn't dealing with. He dished, I was boozing too much. It's just become a problem. And I'm really happy it's been half a year now, which is bittersweet, but I've got to my feelings in my fingertips again. I think that's part of the human challenge, you either deny them all of your life or you answer them and evolve.